Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I am making caldo de camarón. So if you guys are interested in how I make my caldo then keep on watching. It's perfect for this weather and guess what I got? I got myself a mantel. Okay, these are the ingredients that you're gonna need. Shrimp. Shrimp. Some potatoes. Some repollo. Some carrots. Some apio. Onion. And cilantro. Okay, you guys already know me. I like to make my salsas with chile guajillo so I have here like about 10 chiles guajillo un puñito de chile puya so that's six chile puya and about three chiles de arbol okay you're gonna boil all your chiles Or your chiles. Okay, while well, your chiles are boiling, you're gonna start cutting your repollo, your apio. I'm gonna start peeling the papa. Okay, I already rinsed the papas. Now I'm gonna start cutting them. Not too small and not too big. I'll probably just do like that half. I already rinsed my repollo. Okay, I just realized I cut my cabbage into bigger pieces, so I'm gonna cut. So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna cut this in half. I already rinsed my apio. I'm going to cut the bottom piece and start cutting into small pieces. Start cutting into small pieces like this. And you guys can add as much as ve veggies as you like. I'm gonna cut two more. Okay, now that you have everything nice and cut, you're gonna check your chiles. Okay, my chiles are all done. Okay, for my chiles, I'm going to take out the little hot part. If you guys don't have experience like me, <laughs> um, don't do this because then you're gonna burn your hands. So I recommend you wait at least 15 or 20 minutes for the chiles to cool down. This is some serious stuff. Okay. 
Okay, you're gonna add one diente de ajo. A little bit of salt. And you're gonna add the same water that you used to boil your chiles. So remember to wait at least 15 to 20 minutes so the water can cool down and then you can start blending. Okay, on a pan you're gonna add a little bit of aceite. And you're gonna throw in there some chopped onions. Once your onions is a little bit brownish color, you're gonna throw in your salsa. And you're gonna saute your salsa. Okay, once your onion starts to look like this, you're gonna throw in your chile using a colador. Okay, you're gonna use a strainer like this. You're gonna put your fire on low, because if not, ooh, you're gonna burn your house, your kitchen down, and you don't want that. So, you're gonna use your strainer. So you can Hold all your seeds. You don't want your caldo to be all seedy. You see all that? All the seeds? You don't want that in your caldo. I'm adding a little bit of water. this this is trash okay while your caldito is boiling you're gonna start throwing in your potatoes everything is gonna go before the shrimp the everything is gonna boil all together I had to switch my caldo to another pot because the other one was too small. So I recommend you guys cook this in a big pot. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a little tip. If you, if you guys want your caldo to be a little bit of espeso, a little bit thick, not like watery, too watery, then I recommend you guys add a little bit of masa. Just a little tiny bit. I would say like this. A little bit of masa with a little bit of warm water. And you're gonna add it to your caldo. Okay, once you have your shrimp all nice and clean, all rinsed out and everything, you're gonna throw it in your caldo. And your caldo is supposed to look like this. And this is optional if you wanna add a little bit of cilantro. Keep checking if your papas are done, your potatoes. Once they're done, you can start adding your shrimp. adding your shrimp now you're gonna let your shrimp cook for about five to ten minutes because shrimp cooks fast and just taste it to see if it needs salt i already tasted mine and it's good on salt so i'm not gonna add it anymore also if you don't want just Leave it like that and then 
um, whoever is gonna eat, they can put salt al gusto to their taste. And this is done, you guys. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. Okay, as usual, I'm gonna make some egg butter shrimp for my kids. Garlic salt. Let's do the test. Put a bit of onions. Let's see. Is it good, Bob? Yes. Del 1 al 10. 11. 20. I want to show you guys how it looks. Hold on. This is my final result. My caldo de camarón. Mm, mm. Check this out. Bomb, you guys. seriously need to try this recipe and there you have it guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you guys next time bye guys salucita salute I forgot to mention, you guys, this recipe, I got it off my mom. So, shout out to my mom. Ama, si me está mirando, me salió bien delicioso. Also, if you guys want it to be spicier, because it wasn't that spicy, huh, babe? No, it was like mild spicy. No, it wasn't spicy at all. It wasn't spicy at all? Mm -mm. Mm, no, it was. it had like a pinch of spiciness. But if you guys want for it to be more spicy, then you can always add more chiles puya and more of chile de arbol, the smaller one. And let me tell you, this is perfect for a cruda. If you guys are crudos out there, then mm, you guys need this in your life. Bye. ¿Te gustó, amor? No, casi no. No? No. No, casi no, ya casi te lo acabas. Te lo acabaste. <laughs>